hello guys so welcome to my channel today we will discuss about with the window recipe so window recipe uh, today i will consider as another data set to, uh, for the sample purpose so here in this one day site consumption day temperature day so this data is available so the we will applicable to window recipe in this uh, data set so what i am taking is so basically for uh, window recipe we need uh, okay i will look, quickly look into this uh, uh, yeah so in window recipe we need window definition and aggregations so window definition called as the grouping so which column we need to group like partitioning the data and aggregations so if we will go back to the uh, this data so i am considering here site as the group so based on the site we will group the data if required we will order by day or else this is the optional only day order by and uh, consumption day we will apply with the sum uh or else he, he, in this uh, consumption day we will apply any aggregation like average uh, max min uh, uh, sum etc and here group by and window recipe some variation is there so in window recipe we will get the data every 7 days uh the running sum every 3 days we will get the running sum like that so we will look into this first i am applying the window recipe select the this data set and up select with the window recipe here in the left uh, right side so once you select with the this window recipe so output data set name is taken and create recipe so once you select with the window recipe first option is partitioning the columns so which column we need to partition select the on condition here i am selecting based on site so these options are these next to remaining options are options only so this is not mandatory to opt this one for example if i want need to order by columns day wise so just select with the ascending order or descending order whatever the order you need and we need uh, for example 3 days uh, every 3 days uh, the rolling sum so window frame and apply with we limit window on a valid uh, value range of the order column use lower bound for example i need 3 days and use upper bound with including the current date also current uh, row and click on aggregations so in the aggregations column i will select as consumption day as sum once i select with the sum consumption day will get the sum okay so and here what are all the other options pre filter is there computed columns is there post filter also is there custom aggregations also is there and will but right now i have most importantly i selected with window definitions and aggregations so, we'll run this one so job is running we will go to the data so here you see uh, one column is created here consumption day sum how it is creating based on site for example if i select with uh, uh, this uh, site is i will select one data set click on okay uh if we select filter with dates also one date you can filter this one uh okay, like today no there is no today right okay okay let's ignore this date filter oh. we'll see this one okay uh this one temperature temperature not required here in this one consumption day sum so first row 4182 so 4182 we getting second row 4121 so 4121 plus 4182 8304 
we get this one we given the condition is every three rows okay so 4210 4121 4180 so up to here 12514 next to uh, so this every row three rows we are getting 16000 next to 16000 next to 16000 like this way so every three rows and current row also so like four rows so so that that is four four to 16 rows 16000 sorry 16000 we are getting okay if you look into for example the last rows okay see here last four rows 87 82 82 and 80 so 4 8 ja, 3 32 so around 3 32 we are getting okay so this way this is every three days with including the current day okay so this is or else if you want to uh, you can opt uh, where is that window recipe if i switch off this one what happened called as by default consummation day sum will be displayed like rolling sum run now we'll see the result Okay, now quickly we'll look into the result. So if you see this one, 4182 plus second row, 83 plus third row, plus fourth row, plus fifth row, so on. The rolling sum will be showing based on uh, site. Two. If you see with, uh, if I unselect with this uh, ID uh, site, Let's start with ID 02. It will start as new fresh sum based on the site. So running total, uh, it's easy to find. Yeah. In this, if you look into ID 18. So first fresh we started here. 45 plus 44 plus 52 plus 54 plus 46 like this way. Okay, so this is the window recipe benefit. And in this one, we can apply with uh, uh, other, other uh, aggregations like lag, lead. That one also we can apply. If you look into this one, first value, last value, concat, lag, lag difference, lead, lead difference. So these many options are available in window function. So in SQL, uh, advanced window functions is there, right? Uh, league, lad, first value, last value. The same, all the functions we have to apply here in window recipe. Okay. Thank you for watching.